And with that, it is time to leave here now. We'll be back in about 25 minutes' time, but we're going to go live now to Birmingham to join Adrian Childs and Nadia Sawala for... The One Show. That's it. Good night. Hello and welcome to Tuesday's One Show, live from the Second City. Each weeknight we're out and about across the UK, meeting people with stories to tell. Tonight... A woman from Swansea heads to the capital looking for cheaper flights than Martin Lewis can find on the internet. How much joy will Joy have? Kate Humble's in Devon looking for the small furry thing responsible for this fine craftsmanship. We'll go cross-country to Surrey to see a cross-country as young and old go head-to-head -to -head in our 1660 challenge. And joining us in Birmingham, a woman from Wolverhampton who came second in The Apprentice, but in real life will always finish first, Ruth Badger. Good evening. <laughs> uh, just to confirm, throughout the show, when we mention the red button, when we say press the red button, we mean the red button which gets you into our interactive service. The reason I mention this is that John Lambert's been in touch to tell us this confuses his poor mother who keeps switching off the telly. John, <laughs> it might actually be that she doesn't want to watch. However, let's be quite clear, with the help of my glamorous assistant, we will demonstrate. This is the red button we mean, not this one. Oh no. <laughs> Have we all got that? <laughs> Fine. Ruth, it's uh, lovely to, it's <laughs> lovely, been a lovely to see you. Again. It's been a pleasure to ask. Cheers. <laughs> Thank All you. the best, Ruth. Thanks very much. Uh, at the top of the short show, we saw Rajesh making friends with Polly the Staffordshire Terrier. Behind uh, Poppy, there actually lies a sad story. She was actually brought into Birmingham Dogs Home today, only today, and is looking for a new owner. If you could be the new owner, look on our website for the number to call. Tomorrow on the show, Dan Snow goes in search of a whole city lost in Wales. And we uh, challenge everyone in a Lancashire village to save just as much energy as they possibly can in a week. Get lots more from us right now by pressing the red button on your digital remote and we'll see you tomorrow at 5 to 7. Now an update on whatever's happening wherever you are. Yes, welcome back to North West tonight for an update of this evening's national and local headlines. More than 400,000 people from Eastern European countries have successfully applied to come and work in Britain since the EU expansion in 2004. The new Home Office figures show the numbers are far higher than the government had predicted. Hundreds of British holidaymakers are recovering in Greece this evening after being forced to flee their hostels because of forest fires, or the hotels actually. Most spent the night at the beach on the Haldi Hald Idiki Peninsula. The fire is now under control, but strong winds could cause further outbreaks. And 11 people charged in connection with an alleged plot to blow up transatlantic airliners have appeared before magistrates in London. Eight are accused of conspiracy to murder, and three with other offences under the Terrorism Act. All were remanded in custody. And the top stories in the northwest. An 11-year-old boy found dead along with his mother, brother and sister at their home in Greater Manchester had been beaten to death. The four bodies found in Cheadle Hume are that of Uzma Rahan and her three children, Adam, Abbas and Henna. An international manhunt for Rahan Arshad, believed to be the husband and father of the victims, is continuing. Today, the children's head teacher broke down as she remembered the children. When you think of three... <laughs> three young children, you know, just got their whole life ahead of them. A pensioner from Merseyside is demanding answers about why doctors allegedly failed to diagnose his wife's appendicitis. Enid Bunniger spent weeks undergoing tests at Arrow Park Hospital. She died in June after her appendix ruptured. The hospital say appendicitis, although a common condition, can be difficult to diagnose in certain circumstances. And the secrets of a Victorian romance have been discovered in Cumbria. Furniture restorers in Staveley found a series of love letters written 150 years ago in the secret drawer of a writing desk. Now, a final look at the weather. Here's Diane. Good evening again. Well, today turned out to be an awful lot better than we anticipated. Much more sunshine and the rain held off. But tomorrow, nowhere near as good. Weather system right over the top of us. Thursday doesn't look too bad, and while Friday initially looked dreadful...